we're back. We're reviewing the Eternals trailer. Uh, this is Chloe Zhao's next film after Nomadland. Uh, it's part of the MCU, which would have been hard to tell if it wasn't for that final tidbit of uh, the trailer at the end. Uh, Nick, let's get into it. What were your thoughts on this trailer? I think you you really said it best. Like it, this really feels different. And like I like you know, um, we talked about well, we we um, we talked about the first kind of like new Phase Four trailer with um Shang Chi. Love uh, feels like months ago at this point, and like I love that trailer. But even then, I was like, okay, this is standard fare. But even he, but here, I was like, oh, okay, this is a little more. I don't even know what the right word is. Just like a much more like uh, grounded feel strangely enough even though this is probably the most fantastical group of characters i mean just look at the costumes behind me like it's it feels like different and even like just watching like the first 30 seconds i was like okay i could see like this being directed by chloe zhao i was like i see the nomad land in in this and in the rest of it um just and, and this is another one we just we just covered last night in soho I, this is another one where i'm like I don't really know like what's going on story wise, but I'm okay with it because like I, I think there's like this very big, I don't know, like expansive tale to tell. Like they're covering decades, centuries, and I think there's something very interesting to be told. Um like I like one of the things I one of the things I want to comment on were like the most bizarre reactions I've seen on the internet was everyone giving them crap for like not showing up for the past like decade of mcu films and i was like i'd be i'm excited to see why that is i, I would be giving right. that crap i'm like well there has to be there's there should be a good reason for that and i don't doubt that you know there isn't one so um and like i would say like even more than shang chi as like he's like more uh, boots to the ground here they're probably going to be the driving force of phase four at least because like you know the larger scale larger amount of time influencing events so um i mean this trailer does sell, i think sell them as this like really mysterious um group that's like been moving throughout uh the decades and centuries and um i had just a di very different feel like the so even the song choice there was like little action it was just like a montage of like of them throughout history i thought it was just very very interesting feel that's what I loved, man. It's the vastness of the story and you can feel it in like a, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it feels so expansive and I'm just so curious, especially with the Richard Madden and Gemma Chan at the core of this, their love story. I'm curious how that's going to play out. Um, they view humans as not lesser, but just people that they don't want to interfere with uh, and influence events and then there's of course the until now moment right which is like oh what what is the now right and people are like you know well why didn't they do it when thanos came or you know when there was an invasion in new york it's like they're pacifists they clearly didn't want to do anything uh and then when thanos came thanos was in and out dude was gone in like 15 minutes you know what i mean like they may not even have known. I, I think those are all possible things. And if we're asking those questions, Marvel already has the answers for them. So you guys don't need to rage about it online. Don't worry, they'll be answered. I'm excited about this. The cast is amazing. Angelina Jolie, um, Brian Tyree Henry, uh, and there are a few other actors that I can't remember their names, but they're, it's, it's just an amazing cast and I'm excited to see it. I, I think like, this is like um this is what the this is what the franchise needed assuming this follows up on how the trailer is and i don't doubt it will it needed that sort of like shift in sort of tone and visual and i think like um just a break in the norm and i think like this is i think taking a chance on what is a relatively lesser known group of characters i think um i think there's like a lot to be built upon for, for the future. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd say so. And I think this is the beauty of Marvel going in different directions and telling stories of different genres. Mm -hmm. I think it allows for the MCU to expand and stay interesting 
well, kind of getting away from the formula they've kind of had for the first two, slightly into three uh, phases of the MCU. And I think that that difference in really giving, making storytellers more of auteurs within the world of the MCU uh, is really interesting and creative. And I think it's the right way for them to go. And we'll see how it ties in. They know that Iron Man and Captain America are out of the picture. So they're aware at least somewhat, but I'm, I'm curious how that's all going. And will Icarus, Richard Madden, be a leader in the Avengers? I don't know. Let us know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. We'll see you next time. Peace out.